Welcome to Hangman Tarot. I'm Jordan. I'll be doing your card reading today. We are doing Taurus's love predictions for January. Um, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to Hangman Tarot. Go ahead and like and share for Facebook and Instagram. Also would be wonderful and very much appreciated. And don't forget to serenade your Valentine in February and make sure that they know that I sent them. Totally kidding. I'm not huge into Valentine's Day, but we tend to notice on Valentine's Day when we're forgot, so <laughs> that'll happen. Okay. Taurus, I got your cards all laid out here. We have our Seven of Cups, Tower. I know. Do not blame the messenger. I know. This is bad. Good, bad. Bad, good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? King of Cups. Now you're really going to kill me because now you know it's all cups. It's all cups in the tower. So you know what that means, right? That's eight of cups. So basically, there's going to be a shift or dramatic change within your relationship, love, intuition really I mean I I know what it is though like okay so um as far as our seven cups go Taurus is very um wishful thinking Taurus has um an idea that everything that Taurus seems to think is totally true so all the images in Taurus's mind right now um everything's good to go everything's true but if we go beyond the surface, if we dig a little bit deeper, we will f we'll f tend to figure out that it's not all what it's cracked out to be. Um, Taurus is kind of a dreamer. And Taurus, you know you don't like change. And so, I'm sorry. But change is inevitable. Change is going to happen whether we want it to or not. And I'm a Taurus. I get it. I totally get being a Taurus. I totally get being bullheaded, being very rooted in whatever we're in and not wanting to move. Don't disturb the soil, please. I am growing. Well, guess what, honey? There's an earthquake and you're on top. Change. That is the inevitable change. This is... Taurus is seeing, beginning to see the the world in a real view. Um, and that's what this is. So that's slowly happening here, but not happening quickly enough because something needs to be cleared up so that there's um, availability in space. Um, so there's room for, you know, new ways instead of the old ways. So Tower cards a huge indication that things are broken underneath Taurus's feet and Taurus's perception of relationship and love have been completely it's all very much shifted and Taurus Taurus is definitely in a place where they know that there's this thing called love and they know that there's these images we are given from the moment that we can remember and we have that wishful thinking as a Taurus we have those thoughts but something had broken Taurus's love um perception so it was such a shift that and it was so broken down that you you needed to get an understanding of love or or find a different belief in love so there's something that Taurus needs to serve themselves in their higher self so it's it's not even about like Ooh la la, the romance love. It's very much about the internal love and the higher love of themselves. So that's kind of like where they are in particular as far as like right now. But that tower card is definitely a huge indication that they're just not moving quickly enough, which is not surprising because they don't usually. They are just very slow in, you know, trying to make choices and decisions for themselves and making sure that they don't fuck up anywhere along the way trying to be a little bit of a perfectionist or something. So there is a love interest here though. This is your Knight of Cups and this is a charming, um, very calm, peaceful individual. 
and he could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, just with the given cups. Again, it doesn't have to actually be that. And we need, we can resonate in any way that we want. So this, this love interest loves to be in love and, um, they have a huge idea of what love is. And unlike Taurus, Taurus is what has been able to shift. And unlike her love interest, the image has been destroyed um, once they figure out, you know, who you are, Taurus. So because you're not exactly the fairy tale or the Cinderella story that they were thinking in their head, this energy type wants nothing to do with it. They're heartbroken. They're devastated. Um, and it's not even based off of reality. It's just based off of what they were kind of thinking in their own minds. So your love interest is very unrealistic on the vibe in general when it comes to love. So they're trying to um, be in the I'm in love thing because they love the idea of being in love, but they just have no no clue what it is really. Um, this being the selfless, um, being a selfless person when you're in love with somebody looks different when those people make mistakes that looks different um, for someone who's selfless and understands has an understanding of love love is a give take love is flexible as fuck love is just um, everything that you could think good that's what love is and forgiveness I mean acceptance of a human and forgiveness as far as kind of the images that this love interest is seeing is not building up into what Taurus is. Taurus is on broken perception of love as it is. So it's like, you know, the shift is going to happen no matter what. And so it's basically the pursuit of love is, it's falling wayside. Um, next up, we've got our eight of cups love interest is walking away from Taurus. And again, this could be intellectually, it could be just heart wise, it could just be physically, but this, this, this card is stating that he, he is walking away and it's not because he hates or loathes. He just needs to find him. This man is on a search. He's on a search because he's unhappy. He's on a search because there was a relationship ending that wasn't so good for him. And that's what I'm seeing for this February um, love reading. Leaving it all behind. Stepping away from his familiar so that he can find something familiar. And that would be our higher self. Um, this energy would do um, all sorts of good things if he were able to walk away. Um, it's something that is good for our mental capacity, but again, the search of love or the soul search or the spiritual, um, search, this is what it looks like. It doesn't look like this or this, this all looks like it's ending. And this is, you know, going off, moving on, getting beyond his worldly, Things. He's over it. He's over the worldly shit. He's over it. He just needs to find something natural and um, he needs to find connection. Sorry, my screensavers keep going off on my TVs and my computer. Yeah, he's, it's, you know, and not everything is as it appears. So like, you know, that's just another, it, this, it keeps screaming to me. Not everything is as it appears. It's not. Taurus is flawed. Taurus is broken on the premise of love and relationships. Taurus still has hope and faith and dreaming and she has all of these things about her or him that make them special. But that is not what the this King of Cups is envisioning. And what this King of Cups is envisioning is something of love that he was in an understanding that it was. And they go a bit far as far as being a pursuit of love. And, and when we do that, we, we tend to finally walk the fuck away. And that's what happened. That's what's going to happen in our predictions. This is the prediction reading. If this is not your story, it's just not resonating with you. Then that's what it is this month. Um, 
but this is goes to show like no matter what you think somebody is going to be when you start coming into a relationship with them, just know that they will fail. They will disappoint you. And it's not because they don't love you. It's because they're them. And you just didn't know them when you thought you were in love. But that's lust. Lust is when you first are like, oh, hey, this person's amazing, everything about them. I mean, look at him. He's great. He's on a horse. He's got the energy and the power of, you know, this white Mustang. Well, like, he don't. He's tired. He just got off work. He's dirty. And he can't stand when you think he's so, like, you know, rem he, he, need he, he can't stand all the, the time you're consuming. Or he can't stand the fact that you're crying or you're emotional. Like, that's a real thing. And then we figure that out. And then we do stuff like this. We go change. We go figure it out beyond the world, beyond our belief. And then someday we start growing up more and more into the fact that it's not even about being um, failed or somebody disappointing us. It's about what about us? Why do we have that image? Why do they need to stick to that? Because we think it. That's not what this is. It's unfortunate that, you know, within lust, we can't actually see the real authentic person. But when you're in lust or you're in, you know, heaven with somebody, you figure, you, you, that's what you figure they are. But then it's not. It's not. It's like, and people are jumping ship because of that. I mean, I, you know, it is what it is, but it's just like, how far are you willing to go for love? And if it's not very far and you're walking away, it's because it was lust. There's a huge difference. Anyway, so that was a disappointing read only because, you know, I was hoping for a really cool Valentine's read for this one, but you know, it is, it is a good thing in the sense of change. Um, these two cards, they are scary looking and they look like there's abandonment here and it looks like there's chaos and jumping, you know, off tower because, you know, it wasn't built on something sturdy, but that's, you know, that's what it is. But when you come back from this, you're going to be this still, but you're going to have like all of this shit and you're going to love all of it. You're going to be an amazing human by the time you're done preparing and, and healing and, and loving yourself. It's not even about the person that you're hanging out with. It's just like when you get mad at your person or you're disappointed in something, look at you. Because you, you see it, you do it. Heal you. But definitely walk away if it's too much. Don't make somebody mentally feel like they cannot fulfill something in this situation when they didn't go in thinking they were that person. They know who they are. You thought you did. It just is what it is. I mean, some people are for each other. Some people are not. That is the card reading that I have for today. Please make sure that you go like, share on Facebook and Instagram, as well as subscribe to you YouTube channel, Hangman Tarot. I promise you, after you get back from this tower situation, that it's going to be okay. That it's going to be beneficial to your higher self. Beneficial to the idea of being something better every day. With or without a man or woman, you got you. That's all you need. The rest is just like huge, huge bonus. It's wonderful to have somebody with you on your path. It's wonderful to have somebody with you on your journey. But don't ever depend on that, Taurus. So allow that change to happen or whatever needs to happen. It will flow where it goes. And it's not up to you or you or you or you. So get on out of here. Go get ready for Valentine's Day. What are you doing here?